Hello everyone, my name is Amin Musa, security engineer at Sock Fortress. In today's capsule, I'm going to walk you through on how to respond to a scheduled task alert. As you can see, we got an alert of a creation of a scheduled task. First thing we can do is check which endpoint the scheduled task was created on. And as we can see, it's created on Sock Windows endpoint. And now that we know on which endpoint it was created, we can inspect the logs surrounding the alert and understand what happened exactly. As you all can see, there was a command line that was launched to load a new scheduled task. In a real environment and incident, one of the steps we'll have to take is isolate the machine. But for this demo, we won't take that step. If you want to learn how to isolate the machine in our Seam stack, you can refer to our older videos. Getting back to the point, what we can do as a first step is listing all scheduled tasks on this endpoint. And it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to the artifact collection, select the artifact, in our case it's called Windows System Task Schedule, and you just hit submit. As soon as the artifact is done, you can inspect the results in the data store tab. There, we will have the results of the execution that we can download and inspect. After you download the results, you should look at the results folder. In there, you will be met with a JSON file containing all the scheduled tasks under our endpoint. And directly, you can see we have a sus task name that is not Microsoft related. If we take a closer look, we can see the command it's executing, the arguments of it, and the task name itself. In this case, it's harmless, it's a demo test. But in case of an incident, you need to inspect what your scheduled task is executing, as it could be a malicious program located on your endpoint. The next logical step would be to get back to the Artifact Collection tab and remove this created scheduled task. And one artifact that we can use is Remediation Schedule Task, as this will delete a specific task job from your endpoint. For the parameter, we have to specify the task path, which is simply the name of the scheduled task. And for the regex parameters, we want to match on everything related to the task. And you will have to change the value of the last parameter to Y. And then simply you can hit Submit. If we look at the results, we will get back a confirmation that the task was deleted successfully and the artifact was executed. If you found this capsule helpful, please leave a comment requesting any new capsule you wish to see in the future. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.